yeah, thanks again for uh, joining me for on uh, this episode. It's Grand Dizzy here. I'm pretty sure you're asking yourself the same question that I'm asking myself. And I wanted to do a video about that. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer that question. Why Harley Davidson? <laughs> That's a pretty tough question. So as I was growing up, I mean, all we know is um, Harley is for old people. Uh, there's no need for anybody to get a Harley if you are under 30 or even 20, <laughs> if you want to get a bike. But um, a little story to tell you guys. Um, why Harley Davidson? And the reason why I have this topic for this video that why Harley Davidson is because I'm a very young guy, you know, and young people like uh, sports cars, sports bikes. They like to do everything fast. They want to go fast and nobody got time for Harleys. But here I am today. I'm on a Harley and I ask myself the same question over and over and over again. And even the people that knows me in person, they ask me the same question. Why Harley? Well, here's your answer. I'm gonna go back in time where I'll say around 2004, a friend of mine who is very crazy, I hope, um, He's watching this video and if I say he's crazy I don't mean like bad crazy he's a type of guy that I will try anything it doesn't matter if he's gonna kill him or hurt him like it doesn't matter he will he will try everything so that kind of crazy friend that I had or I have um, he called me one day and he's like, hey, you wanna go out for a ride? I say, why not? But I've always wanted to ride a bike, you know? I always wanted to own one. I just didn't have the means uh, or even know how to get started, you know? So he gave me that invitation. I say, why not? But his, at that time was a dirt bike, you know? So, um, He said, okay. He gave me the, uh, the location, the address, pretty much um, everything that I need to um, you know, meet up with him. He gave it to me. About an hour later, we all met up and um, I told him that, listen, I don't know how to ride a bike. What I do know how is, um, driven a um, stick shift whichever way you want to call it I know how to drive it this trap is bothering me so although I don't know how to ride a bike all I need from you right now is to show me where the controls are you know as far as the gas the, um, the throttle the clutch you know just show me where they at and then uh the rest i'll take care of it myself he's like okay so he showed me everything where everything is at and we hit a trail but i can tell you guys my very first i'll say 15 20 to half an hour was a very rough ride you know i was stalling Cutting off the engine, and you know they're coming up up to me to help me out, and all that kind of nature. So it was a very rough ride for me. But right after that, you no, know, 45 minutes into the ride, oh god, I was killing it. I was killing it. I was uh, riding like a pro, like a champ. So we were there for like I don't know, maybe three, four hours. It was fun. So, after the ride, he was like, hey, what do you think? I said, man, I think I like this. 
I think I like this and I wanna I wanna get my bike. He's like, okay, okay. So we did about two or three sessions and um I started thinking, I said, man, it's time for me to get a uh, get a bike. But even with that, look at all this beautiful scenery. There's another dude here. Um yeah, this place is very beautiful. I'm so glad that I was able to bring you guys up in here. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna see uh, some more, you know, nice places in a little bit. But anyway, we did about four or five times, and um, I made a decision that I want to get me a bike. So. One day, I would say by 2006, I used to drive trucks, 18 wheelers. By the way, I drove the entire country, guys. Uh, it was one of the fun, fun jobs I've ever had. Yeah, I've been all over, with the exception of Hawaii and Alaska. Yeah, I've pretty much been all over the place. Anyway, um, on our way back from West Virginia, we got to Salisbury, Maryland, and uh, there's a bike shop down the road. So I saw this bike there, very nice sports bike. I put a picture on there, and that's my first bike. Um, so I saw that bike on my way back, and um, I'm like, hmm, this is a nice bike. I don't mind riding this bike. Um, so we pass. The following week, same place, the bike was sitting there. This time, I decided to stop by the shop and like talk to someone and figure out like what, what is going on. So I stopped in there and um, I spoke with the manager. And he told me that um, the bike belongs to a, a veteran, an Iraq veteran. He's been deployed about two times and um, it looks like he's going to be in overseas for, for quite some time. So he just want to get rid of it. So I'm like, listen, the fact that you told me this bike is for a veteran, someone fighting for me. How much is that bike? So, long story short, I bought that bike without not even having a license. I didn't have a motorcycle license or anything like that. I bought a bike. I did all the paperwork. I paid him cash. And um, I called Dwayne. I said, Dwayne. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say his name, but I guess I, now I mentioned his name. But anyways, I called him. His name is Dwayne. I said, hey, bro. I, I have something to tell you, man. I need your help. He's like, what? I said, I bought me a bike. He said, what? You bought a bike? I said, yes, sir. I bought a bike. He's like, no way. I said, yes way. <laughs> oh, man. So I told him there's no way I can drive the bike or I can ride the bike home. It was too far away. That was my first time that I'm going to be riding on the uh, public highways. There's no way I'm going to ride this bike. So I want him to ride the bike for me. And besides, I don't even have a motorcycle license. <laughs> He's like, say no more. Just give me the time and the date, and now we're gonna go pick this sucker up. <laughs> I said, no big deal. Long story short, um, on my day off Wednesday morning, call him up, hop in the car, drove all the way to Salisbury, pick up the bike. He saw that bike, he was like, what? He was very happy as much as I was. We brought the bike home, and uh, he said, you need, you need to get your license, man. I said, okay. At that time, my state was, uh, they still have the program. I think I paid uh, $35. 
three-day program and uh, I received my uh, motorcycle license but as I was uh, waiting for the class for me for my name to be called or whatever the case is I was riding the bike I was riding it to work I was pretty much riding it anywhere you know um, but then I was a little cautious I didn't want to you know get caught you know get myself into trouble or anything like that so you know I, I ended up getting my license so I rode that bike for, for quite some time and I said man that bike was a, a thousand cc it was a Suzuki SV1000 Suzuki SV1000 that was the bike and that was my first bike I've seen some uh, seen some few YouTube videos where they talk about first bike and you need to buy something smaller guys I, I, I am crazy as Dwayne my first bike was 1000 CC I rode this bike for quite some time and I'm like man I think uh, <laughs> I'm ready to upgrade but uh my family didn't like the idea that uh, I'm riding on a bike and feel like it's too dangerous and um, a friend of ours have got killed on the bike so they were just you know going back and forth so I told my family I want to I want to sell the bike and get me a, a high booster they said yeah yeah why not <laughs> They encouraged me to sell my bike, not knowing they had no intention to help me to get a high booster. They wanted me to get rid of the bike. Anyway, I sold that bike and they took the money from me. It's like, nope, we need that money for something else. So I was without a bike for quite some time, for, very, for, for years, you know. Um, but every once in a while, I would drive down the road we see these Moscow bikes you know and uh, I always like it I mean as much as I like sports bikes when I see those bikes and I'm talking about Harleys the naked ones you know the barbers I don't even know the names in those days you know I just like the bikes so um, I went to a Harley shop for the first time and they had something that I, I like so nice and um, I'm like man this is something that I can see myself on you know it's really not a for old people as many will say <laughs> it's it's a Moscow bike you know so and then on top of that after I watched the uh, the, uh, the Terminator movie you know I think they use a, a fat bob or something in that movie because I'm, 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 I'm built, I'm built like a tank, so, yeah, I said, yeah, I, I, I don't mind seeing myself on a, something like this, so that went by for, I will say, many, 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 many years, and, um, I forget about bikes, anytime I see one, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a nice bike, you know, but, Last year, guys, something happened. And this is the reason why I'm making this video. And this is my answer to the question that I was asking myself. And I'm pretty sure the, the answer that you were waiting for and you wanted to know. Why Harley? Last year, I went to Home Depot early last year. And as I was uh, getting ready to get out of my car, this guy just pulled right on my side, right in a Harley Davidson Sportster S. And as soon as I saw the bike, I said, yes. I mean, this is the kind of bike I've been looking for. So I got out of my car and just tried to talk to him. It was dark. I was talking about 6.30, 7 o'clock. You know, it was, it was fairly dark. So 
I got out of my uh, my car and uh, I tried to have a conversation with this guy. Say, hey, what kind of bike is this? Boy, it was a wrong time for me to ask this guy. He got so mad at me and he was like, can't you see it's Harley? I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, man. I, I, all I want to know, it's a nice bike. I just wanted to know. So, uh, you know, guy was mad at me just for asking him um, what kind of, you know, bike was that. So I said, don't worry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, as I was leaving, he called me. He's like, you want to know more about this bike? I say, duh. That's the main reason why I asked you. <laughs> he called me up and um, he's like, yeah, this is uh, it's called Sposter S. It's the new bike that Harley made. And it's very, very nice so fast this guy gave me the entire rundown on this bike his was white but the reason why he was upset is because this bike is a hair turner anybody that knows knows this bike is a hair turner so he gets so upset whenever People stop him and ask him what kind of bike is this and all that. You know, he's been getting it pretty much all day. And I have the same issue too, but I don't get upset. I'll stop, you know, people stop me in traffic and I'll see if I can show you guys some videos and put it on there. This guy didn't even want me to go. I guess he wanted me to pull over so he can check it out. You know, it's just, come on. But anyway, he said, yep. So he, his was 2021. But he was like, yeah, go go to Harley and um, you see it over there. So I was say, say no more. Anyway, the following day, I went straight to the dealership. And guess what they have sitting over there waiting for me? A Sportstar S. Two of them, actually, two. I said, no way. So... The dealers just asked me, hey, you want to take a, a test drive? I said, nah, because I know myself. Once I get on this bike, <laughs> I'm taking it home. But I was not ready at that time. Anyway, the very next day, uh, weekend, I went over there. I signed some papers, and I became a proud owner of Harley Davidson Sportster S. Now... Why Harley? Because this bike sit between a cruiser and a sports bike. This bike is so nice to the point that um, it's a hair turner, guys. Anybody that sees um, anybody that sees you will stop you and ask you what kind of bike is this. They will, they will, they will stop you and have a conversation with you. I kid you not, guys. I kid you not. This bike is so fast. I want to find a, a very safe place to give you a, a walk around. But uh, I've done some modifications to this bike. And it looks so nice. Uh, it's not a heavy mod. Very subtle. But it looks so nice. Like anybody that sees you like in traffic. Like I said. I'm surprised nobody. It was just one guy that waved at me just now. Uh, because uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm vlogging so I'm kind of you know zoning but at least three or four people will stop me the gas station they will come to me yo this is a nice bike they will talk to me about it they want to know more about the bike you know and this bike fits me very well I'm um, 5'9 on a good day I've seen some videos online where uh, some folks are saying it's too small for them and I can I can see why Because I think anything over 5 9 like 5 10 11 you're pushing it Because this bike fit me so well That sometimes I wish I'm a little shorter <laughs> But I love this bike this bike got me into Harley um, At first I told some of my friends that I have a Harley 
and they asked me like why like why do you have Harley like you are a sporty guy you know and I still have that notion in my head that um, Harleys are for you know older people but this time around Harley actually proved everybody wrong I believe um, I don't know too much about Harley but one thing that I uh, as I was doing the research about Harleys I believe uh, they are not afraid to 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 make change you know to take chance and I believe they took chance on this one so and and rewind my neighbor who's like a, a brother to me uh, when we moved into our home he came and introduced himself and uh, he opened his garage he had three motorcycles I believe uh, not I believe two of them to Holly and one Honda you know so I told him I ride and he always wanted to get me the bike to ride he said come on I want you to take it you know just just take it for a ride I said no I know if I take this bike for a ride I'm gonna get me one I don't think I'm ready yet you know but I told him that uh, I'm ready to buy a bike and uh, him and his friend uh, they came over talked to me they said listen <laughs> we're gonna give you a little tip about bike shop okay especially Holly we know exactly what you want to buy don't listen to whatever they say okay at the end of the day you are the one responsible making all these payments so don't let them uh, persuade you and make you think like you need to get this or you need to get that at the end of the day you're the one making the payment for yourself so don't let them force you make sure whatever that you get in is something that um you actually like when it comes to your pricing your payments if you finance pretty much everything just don't let them you know so they give me a pretty good advice and that's exactly what holly does when, whenever you go to their shop they will they will sell you a bike without not even knowing that they sold you a bike that's how aggressive they are so i'm very happy with this bike and honestly speaking i believe now that i'm getting older i'm beginning to like harleys <laughs> um i really don't even want to go back and drive uh ride a sports bike anymore i i, I whenever i see them I, I see them just like another bike they don't bother me or it doesn't even take me like oh my god now what i want to get which i'm working on is a can am I might uh, have a, a test ride one of these days to see how they feel. But um, anytime I see me a sports bike, it, it really doesn't do nothing to me, guys. That's how Holly has sold me. And my neighbor, Eric, again, he got uh, three bikes <laughs> in his garage. About four or five houses down. He's always got a Harley. I have about five people in my community with a Harley, you know, and um, it's just nice, you know, whenever they see me, they come to me and we talk and it's just beyond, um, it's just beyond control, you know, so this is the reason why I like Harley, the Sposter Hearst is the reason why I like Harley. This is my answer. If it wasn't the Sportster S, I would probably never, ever look at any cruiser. Never. But they broke me, and now I'm part of the family, and I'm getting to know more about Harleys. And in you know, uh, cruises as a whole, Do I regret this? No, I do not regret this. I mean, I have a, a little back issue, but the way this bike, uh, the economics, it's so nice to the point that it doesn't even bother me in any way, you know? But if I were to ride uh, my sports bike or, you know, anything like that nature, I have another mini bike in the garage where I would take it for a ride one day and I'll show you guys around. But basically, I'm able to ride this bike 
with no issue but if i would have rode um, my sports bike or you know any anything like that nature it would just bother my back you know this one i don't have to worry about anything okay i don't have to worry about anything i don't feel no pain most people say that the seat is very uncomfortable i have no issue this bike in fact i have zero issue i'm getting close to um 5,000 miles which i'm gonna be doing a, a review on it very shortly uh, so i suggest you uh, stay with me and uh so you can get some more information on there but i love this bike i'm trying to find me a, a safe place so i can show you you know to show you i think i'm gonna do it right here before uh we continue the journey but um yeah i'm gonna show you i'm gonna do a little walk around for this bike okay um just a little uh, walk around about the bike there it is it's a 2023 harley davidson sportster earth like i say this bike is so beautiful like it's a her tanner and i didn't buy it for that reason i just like the way it looks okay most people say this is the ugly side of the bike <laughs> i don't believe it because it, whichever way that i look at the bike is just so beautiful okay um i have a very you know minimalist mod on this bike as you can see uh it came with um, a big ass um a license plate holder i believe it's for compliance you know uh reason or whatever but it was here it didn't look bad to me honestly speaking but uh so sponsor s is pretty much like a, a blank canvas you know like a, you, you want an artist and you go out there and buy yourself a blank canvas and then you come bring it home and then pretty much uh make it your own that's how i see this bike okay so um i did like few modifications on there which i will go over in a in, in a very separate video so i can show you guys but basically is she not beautiful i don't even have a name for it um the only thing that i want to do to this bike right here is the pipe i'm thinking about upgrading it to um they have a, a cobra exhaust but it's uh it's expensive and I'm still thinking about it because I need to justify the money that I'm going to spend to put it on here. But it got a very nice sound to it. I'm recording sound. I'm going to, you know, overlay it in the video so maybe you guys can hear it. It doesn't sound bad at all. Okay. Uh, the first mod that I did uh, was these mirrors, which again, I'll go over um, this or the mods that I made on this bike. You know, but basically, this is how the bike looks like. Okay. Everywhere I go, like people, will stop me in traffic they will talk to me my job i have a video clip on the security camera where the security came and told me that hey <laughs> go out there and look at the camera and see how many people are around the bike just checking it out it, it, it was just so amazing and people see me and they were like man this is nice this it is nice okay you tell me if you don't like this bike okay tell me if you don't like this bike and tell me if it was you or if it was yours what else differently could you would you have done to this bike personally i love it i can't even stop staring at it okay i did all the mods that i think i want to do um the only thing that is left is that but even with that i mean it doesn't really bother me in any way it doesn't affect the um the performance of the bike there's more stories that I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Uh, but here it is. Okay, here it is. So this is the reason why I switched to Harley. If it wasn't this bike, probably would never, ever have gotten on a Harley. And the next bike that I was going to buy, I don't know. I've owned this bike. It's going on a... It's going on two years now, and it has given me a single issue. I know uh, some people with their early, um, 
the 2021, the first year, some of them had a, a lot of issues on there and all that kind of stuff. This one, knock on wood, zero, zero issues. Okay, like I said, it's going on 5,000 miles and um, I'm going to be doing a review on it. So basically, that's what it is here. So um, I heard that um, they have a spot here. They do like a bike night. I ride solo. The only time that I ride is uh, whenever I ride with Eric, my neighbor. Um, I think we did about two rides together or more. But uh, 95%, 99% of the time I ride by myself. Uh, I'm not in no club, none of that. Okay. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying there's something wrong with uh, motorcycle clubs or whatever. I just have always, you know, been a solo rider. So um, I've heard there's um, a night bike, a bike night down the street. So I'm going to just go there and uh, ride through. And hopefully um, we can end the video. And hopefully just follow me. So I'll bring you some more um content regarding to the bike it is so beautiful guys there is i can talk all day about this bike here like i'm telling you i can talk all day about this bike and i will not get tired i can talk all day and i will never get tired and anytime i sit on the bike it just brings me joy all right, so let's go and check this place out and um, end the video. But this is the reason why I love Harley. Would I ever go back? I don't think so. Like I said, the only bag that I'm thinking of right now is getting me a, a Can-Am. Even um, T Rex, I've been looking into those, but T Rex is really not a bike, it's like a trike. And I think uh, the Can Am is you know a little bit like a bike, 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 uh, but um, yeah. So, and I do have a, a mini bike in, in the garage, it's uh, one of those 100 grams, 100 uh, clones, um, just rip it around and have fun with it but um yeah so let me know what you think do you like this bike would you buy this bike would you choose this bike over a sports bike um let me know what you think you think this bike is for old people you think holly is for old people like like we all know and now that I, maybe I'm in my 40s now, um, I'm old, I guess I'm old now, so <laughs> I look at Harley on a different way. You just let me know, would you buy it? Or would you even buy Harleys at all? And if you would, what kind of Harley? They have so many bikes. I was looking at the, uh, the Fat Bob, but now they don't even make it anymore. Yeah, they don't even make it anymore. They stopped making it. Uh, I think uh, production stops at 2023 uh, last year. But I was really looking into that bike too. I like the fat tie. And there's something about those bikes, you know. But this one right here, yeah. I'm telling you, it's fast. It's got a power. Again. I don't want to give you a whole specification about this bike. You can look it up. But uh, one time, it was about four bikes, and we were heading to the same direction, the same exit. And we got to where we were heading to, and they stopped me, and you know, we, we had a conversation, and they were, they were amazing. They were like, "Man, this bike is this fast? Yes, it is that fast. In fact, it is so fast." than fast itself it had a, a three driving modes that came with it now i always ride 
in this mode right here, which is the road mode. Once you change it to the sports mode, this bike right here feels like a, a whole new bike that you just went out in the store and bought it. I promise you. I have my brother in love visit us from Boston about three weeks ago. He's also a biker. So he said, I've seen your bike, been posting about your bike and all that. I said, yeah, you want to take a look at it? He's like, why not? Took him to the garage, opened it up. I said, here. Started off for him. He went about two, three laps in the uh, community. And I said, come here, let me show you something. <laughs> Let me show you something. He said, man, this bike is fast. I said, oh, you think so? He said, oh, yeah. I said, okay, let me show you something. So I pushed it to uh, sports mode. I said, yeah, one more. Just, just go one more and come back. <laughs> he almost dropped my bike. He came back with a big smile on his face. I said, what? This feel like a whole new bike. I said, yes, sir. This bike is fast. It's got the speed, the power, the looks, even better look than the sports bikes. Um, so that is the reason why I chose Harley. Okay? Will I do this again? Heck yeah. I will do it all over again. But this machine is very well broken into. I, I, um, I broke it in very, very well. over and over and over and over again with no problem trust me yep this is why i love holly so guys thank you so much i know it was a long video but i hope i do answer your question please drop any comment below do you agree with me oh you don't agree with me that's fine this is just my own opinion like I always say in my every video that I make I'm just an average consumer just like you are okay and I see things a little different I see things just a little different and um, this is how I see this bike okay so if you agree with me do you disagree just leave a comment down below if you have any questions pertaining to this bike shoot me a message or whichever way you're gonna contact me just shoot me and I will explain it to you if you leave around here and you wanna take this bike for a ride come on I'll give it to you just take it for a ride or go to the dealership you know just ride it <laughs> I'm right here with this bike thing so we're about to go to this uh, parking lot I'm gonna just ride myself there and, uh, so you guys can see it okay but um let me just cut this conversation so you guys can um, you know look around here so basically that's what it is this is my very first time you know coming here guys and um, this place is very very hot yeah yeah this place they got a, almost 200 bikes around here it's just wow yeah yeah I've never been here before this is my very first time uh, I believe they come here, they call it uh, pseudos. Yeah, they call it pseudos, but um, yeah. You guys think I should stop by a little bit or just keep riding? Um, yeah. Look at this bike right here, guys. It's like a car, it's like a mini car. Yeah. Look at the bikes right here. So, it's very busy around here, guys. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Look at all these bikes, guys. 
that's all the bike life huh yeah they have some nice bikes here probably have to go through like one by one and um yeah so i guess now that i know that they have something going on here i'll be coming here and uh just hang around with some of these guys to see what they're doing but uh yeah so that's what it is here guys um i'm gonna end this video but thank you so much for watching and um i'll see you guys in the next video all right grand diesel here just go out there spread some love guys show some love and always remember god loves you over and out